hot take, ladies and gentlemen, but in my opinion, I think WWE is potentially in its best position in two decades. What are we thinking about that opinion? Are we agreeing with it? Are we wrong with it? Or are we disagreeing? If so, if you're disagreeing, what year do you think was the best year in wrestling for in-ring performances uh, on the mic quality across the, the across the whole roster and overall storytelling? What do you guys think? What was your favorite era? Let me know below, but today we're going to be doing WWE Extreme Moments from 2024. I'm loving doing these WWE reactions, ladies and gentlemen, so if you want me to continue doing them, smash a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or I'm going to spank that ass. I need to stop threatening to spank people. Uh, okay. Wait. Oh, no. oh, this is from WrestleMania? Jesus, this is... Not the rock bottom, brother. Bruce and lost her head. What the hell was this? This is NXT. I love that they've got a crowd out here. I love that these guys have got a crowd. <laughs> oh, yo. <laughs> that table was 100% supposed to break, right? It clearly didn't. Now, that's definitely going to break a nose, surely. And what's on Briggs' mind? What the? You got you. Oh, my God. Is that no, Booker no, no, T? No. Is that Booker T? I don't know if Booker T still did commentary. Holy shit. See, the table is supposed to do that. Look at the commentator, bro. You gotta be kidding me! Michael Cole's a madman. Look at the pop up. Holy! Guys, let's talk WrestleMania for a second, because this is just, this is from WrestleMania, right? Be honest. Rate the whole show out of 10. I'm giving it a whopping, a whopping nine. Genuinely, probably my favorite WrestleMania since 28. Love WrestleMania 28. You had The Rock Cena, the first match. You had uh, Triple H, Undertaker. Uh, you had the money in the bank at the start, I think. I'm pretty sure. It was also awesome. Had loads of good matches. But I think 40 is definitely neck and neck for there for me. And I know... Was the 37 that was really good too? Or 38, one of those shows were really good? I f Yo, WrestleMania 40. Mm -mm. It did something for me. It did. What do you guys think? Dragunov, Jesus! Oh, no. oh, watch your back. Oh, my God. He's got a baldy head as well. He's got a baldy head as well. God. At first, you don't succeed. Try again. Well, that would fucking hurt. What? Wait a minute. The guy just got sent. What the fuck? Oh, it didn't break either. It didn't break, guys. I gotta touch on something as well. The, one of the things that does ick me a little bit with the modern day wrestling, and just in this era since I've started watching it, like, again, the super kick. We gotta talk about the super kick. It's getting used too much. Super kick used to be Shawn Michaels' finisher. Sweet chin music. Now it's just a generic move, getting so overused so overused i feel like i'm seeing it five times a match and don't even talk to me about that Usos match at wrestlemania i feel like that might have been the, the the nail in the coffin for me there must have been 40 super kicks during that and i know that's their thing they do super kicks and stuff but they just took the piss a little bit and then i've seen it across like the board as well like so many people using it and it's just 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 chill on a, just like a little bit maybe am i right in saying that guys or do you guys disagree Good lord. This is not good. This is not good for JD. Jesus! Ivar, get that thing on him two times in a row. What? What? Holy. That's him. Um... 
That's one that's one wrestler I've never really took to each other. I've never really took to Nakamura. There's just something about him. He's just too much of a fucking goof. You know, he comes out doing all this fucking crazy faces. It's just something about it. I just I want to slap him. <laughs> I don't know what it is. He's just got a slappable face. I'm sorry. What is he going to do, Vic? What the fuck was that? How's he gonna how's he gonna grapple a suplex? Oh. How's he gonna, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that could have been a broken neck. Holy shit. Yep. Challenger to the outside hitting. What? Jesus. Monitors through the table. Look at he's starting to sign like a demon. Oh, damn. Doesn't Solo Sokoa have like a fucking law streak of like a million? Surely he's got to win a match at some point. Man's doing the fucking reverse Goldberg record like. With Kobe Kingston high in the air, razor's edge onto a steel. Kaiser says, first into a chair. Tap inside the ring. Say, drivers. And you got to imagine, too, that's a nasty fall. Jason Orton now launches off the top rope. Randy Orton caught him. RKO! Yo, what about AJ Styles, though? He's definitely on the gear. He is 100% taking steroids. Man is huge. Not that I care. You know, he looks good. But the, the difference in him since before injury to now is so crazy. So crazy. And Randy Orton, too. Both are looking absolutely enormous. Jesus. The situation. No, what Booker T is such an oh, emote. Like he's such an emote. Has... He's just got. He just sits there and shouts. Oh damn! Oh, oh Christ! Yeah. That was an awesome spot. That was also awesome. WrestleMania 40, wasn't it? Jesus. I see when moves like that, you have to take into consideration the weight of the superstars. They're two, they were two big women. So two, two light, let's say two light guys done that, right? The force and velocity is nowhere near what that is going to be. So like those bigger, bigger superstars taking hits like that is going to hurt so much more. Oh, sorry, that's Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is not large, but Nia Jax, big woman, beast. So that's going to fucking hurt her a lot. So you got to, you got to respect those sets even more thinking right now because JC will not stop spikes die jack with an EDT and stone now. there's a lot of NXT stuff in here guys if I was to ask who your favorite or uh who's the most exciting superstar to watch on NXT or who, who's your favorite up and comer who would it be because I'm slowly getting back into it guys I'm trying to watch it here and there sometimes it's on too late though so I just gotta watch three highlights and shit so who is like the up and comer who would you say is like good, good, good to watch and good in, the, good in the ring and stuff? And who is the whole package? Oh my god! Good lord! Okay. Still got a big old mouse on his face after a live event against the New Day last week. And now Priest is. You see this? You see this match? I wasn't too sure on it. This tag team match will have both belts. Something was just off about it. I feel like a lot of the fans, including me, were confused by what was going on. Because I feel like the R-Truth win would have been celebrated so much more from the crowd if it wasn't, like, so confusing as to what the hell was going on. Am I the only one that thought that? I feel like I got the same energy from the crowd. I was just thinking, like, okay. Especially after the first win, actually, Austin Theory's tag team, when they won the blue, the SmackDown belts, right? Everyone was like, okay, so now what? Like, is that the match over? What, what's going on? I think, I feel like everybody was a bit confuzzled. I don't know. What do you think? I hope they don't do it again, though. I prefer they just done two separate ladder matches for the belts individually. You know what I mean? 
feel like that would have been a much better thing to do. She, she promised to break ah. That would hurt so much. That would hurt. Wait! And Becky Lynch with a big slaughter! Oh, gnarly Individual superstars. Holy oh, man! For Punk. Holy shit. And he has shit. no sympathy for Sami Zayn right now. Just heaving him over. Is he going to make the climb? Now, but here comes Priest. And Priest, oh my goodness. Super kick. Oh, Naomi using the landing spot. Bro has just put every move from 2024 into this compilation. It's broken down out here. Oh, not the chair, bro. That's gonna hurt. Didn't we just see the exact same move? No. No, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. No, 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 no. That is. Up there, that is up there with one of the best RKO's ever seen. And it won't get talked about because not Randy Orton did. If Randy Orton does a cartwheel backflip into an RKO like this, it would be on CNN News tomorrow night. It'd be on every news station on Earth, but because it's a nobody, not a nobody, but a much less reputable superstar, it doesn't get talked about. Look at this. What in the name of fuck? Break scripts one more time. Crazy! Damage Woods. Here comes Kaiser and Vinci with a double Okay. Team. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was that was that. I feel like a lot of those clips were from the same matches, the same five matches. <laughs> well, that was that though. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. And yeah, if you guys want me to, you know, talk WWE, do more WWE videos, let me know below. I also stream on Twitch. Gonna come, follow.